the sweetly serene games of Sydney seem as distant now as a star in the night. Games from once upon a time, headlined by stirring and often improbable triumphs, lifted out of fairy tales. Relentless in their cheer and gentility, games wrapped around ceremonies of innocence we may never see again. There's no turning back, no matter how much we wish we could. And so nothing has looked the same as we awoke from a slumber to see the part of darkness and came to live with the souls of heroes. And in defense of liberty, summoned a call to arms. The tides of history and the change in seasons are impossible to predict. Winter in Utah arrived thunderously after Thanksgiving, heralded by a typical blanket of snow across the Wasatch Front. Slowly falling flakes, dry and powdery. Accumulating not by inches, but feet, deep enough to paint a landscape of utter tranquility, a world as we wish it could be. Sixteen months after the Olympic flame was extinguished, an ocean away a long time ago, it's about to be rekindled in a country thrust without warning to the center of history. On a mountainside in Salt Lake City tonight, the 19th Olympic Winter Games will not convene with a simple ceremony of innocence, but a ceremony of resonance, where nations have come together to imagine a world as we wish it where flags fly with pride, but not prejudice where men and women are not judged by the circumstances of their birth or beliefs, but only by the depth of their character and their imagination. The snows have left behind sheets of white for the athletes of the world to write their own stories. The vulnerable world champion, newly independent, about to be tested by fearless teams from home, and a flourishing star from abroad. What will be the color of her latest Olympic chapter? And inside a charged arena, a charismatic Canadian pair will dare to unseat a Russian dynasty four decades long. Await another winter game shaped by G forces and Omega curves, method air, and back scratchers. Another trick turn from Mr. Kelly Mute Grab. We await a new wave of American talent, like the Ivy Leaguer who turned double plays into daffies. The teenager from Seattle who goes by three names and could win just as many medals. And the inliner from Miami, who took her fire from the street to the ice. On Utah's snow-swept summits, we'll see if a California golden boy and a New Hampshire free spirit can make the most of the home mountain advantage. We await others for whom these games are nothing more and nothing less than a story of hope and healing. We await others who get up when they fall and make real the miraculous. Since that morning without reason, we have seen the strength of ideas when they're made real. Tonight, a 
parade of nations has assembled on a mountainside in Utah to make real these self-evident truths. That what unites us can be far greater than what divides us. And that we are beaten only when we stop believing in what we wish we can be. The flame that is lit tonight is not like any other. It is not the fire of destruction, but a light in the darkness.